Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Winging It. Yeah, last week we think there was a little bit of confusion. So we wanted to clear that up for you. So stay tuned. Okay, so y'all know how this works. 10 minutes on the clock. And we're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, last week on winging it, we talked about our what now. And uh, we, we got a lot of comments and questions, which is awesome. We always love hearing from y'all. Uh, but we had a lot of people that seemed to think we were never gonna leave Texas. And you know, in honesty, that kind of surprised us. Uh, because we're winging it so we had to go back and watch the video to see why people yeah. kind of got that impression and after watching it I get it I understand we totally understand uh, I mean we said Texas 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 <laughs> and yeah we love Texas but we obviously we love getting out of the state of Texas too and we filmed we we've never filmed much out of the state of texas because most of that came before a youtube channel yeah i think we visited in our rv uh gosh i should have counted before we started this but i think maybe around 16 states uh before we started the youtube channel and so we definitely plan to get out there and do some more of that yeah in fact we went to bloom fiesta right before in New Mexico right before we started our channel and boy I wish we'd had our channel then because that is just like it's heaven oh, it's an incredible incredible place and um, and we're gonna bring some of that stuff to y'all in the short term though we will be in Texas for a little while well you know first of all y'all gotta remember Texas is about 800 miles wide and it's almost 800 wild miles north and south or vice versa it's a huge state yeah. with a lot of things to see and do and it and for us to get out of the state when we're going north i mean it's 12 hours yeah. <laughs> i mean just to get, about just to get out of the state if we're going west towards new mexico it's about the same well i actually read that El Paso is closer to San Diego than it is to Beaumont. <laughs> wow, yeah, I believe that. Because we've made that trip through El Paso a couple times. Yeah. And so, you know, we just wanted y'all to know that we're gonna cover Texas like a blanket, yes. But we're also gonna have some great adventures outside of Texas. And, uh, just none of it's going to happen outside of Texas, probably in the immediate future. But it's definitely coming because, wow, we got a lot of people that we follow and love uh, out at, like in Utah, which oh yeah, Grand Adventure Grand Park. Mark at Grand Adventure and and the glamping guys over in Florida and Tennessee georgia and all the areas they cover yeah and, and i mean we feel like we know these guys you know and if you don't know their channels i'd welcome you to go to both of them they're grand adventure um, mark's channel you'll see some stunning stunning uh video yeah he does a lot of boondocking and some just amazingly beautiful places yeah and, and then uh, and then the glamping guys they get out of florida they got some videos out of florida and you'll see theirs is a little different style it's and glamping it's glamping and i'll just leave it at that and let y'all enjoy it yourselves but we enjoy both those channels and oh, a lot yeah. of others and it really gives us ideas for things that we want to do when we leave texas uh but you know there's a lot to see and do here too and uh and we want to cover everything the thing is what I want to make sure everybody knows Let, is... Let's stop right here because they're... Yeah, they're doing some yard, yard work. work. This is a lifestyle for us. This is not something that we have a short-term plan for. We're not going to just be on the road for six months or a year. This is our life now. Yeah. So we don't feel like we're in any hurry 
to have to see and do everything right away, which is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, and we're, so we're really excited. I mean, the other day we set a lot of plans coming in the future, and we got a lot of good stuff coming up, a lot of state parks and, and uh, that we're really excited about, some of which we've been in before, most of them we have not. And uh, so. Well, and, and in that regard, we're trying this. We're actually trying something different today for this wing in it. We are, we just got a new uh, GoPro 7 and we're trying it out with this video for the first time. We'll see how the video and audio turn out. Uh, but we got it because we want to be able to, when we're going kite, we're going places we can go kayaking and biking and when we're at festivals, a smaller camera is easier to carry and things like that. So, you know, we want we wanted something a little small and waterproof and everything so we can share more of those adventures with y'all. Well, up. yeah, and we also were using Stacy's phone a lot of the time or and my cell phone uh, instead of using our big movie camera. And and those work great, but there's limitations with those as well so we're trying the gopro and what's ironic about this is before we started our youtube channel we bought two gopros we thought that was going to be our go-to camera so we had seen a real neat video on youtube maybe a lot of y'all have seen it i don't even know the name of years it years ago years and years ago a guy went around the entire united states and did a time lapse on the highways around the united states and was one of the coolest videos I think I've ever seen. That was really neat. So we tried to do a time lapse all the way from uh, our house out to California to Anaheim and back. Well, <laughs> well, and see, we had it on the dash of the RV, but in the Arizona desert. In August. In August. It melted our GoPro. Yeah, don't mount a camera to when you're driving for hours in the desert heat in the summer. Probably not the best idea. Yeah, so instead of having, you know, <laughs> beautiful GoPro footage, we had a melted GoPro instead. <laughs> and, you know, it, it, it was a lesson learned. And, and then we bought a, a movie camera that we started our YouTube channel with. That and, and Stacy's 7D. Yeah, that's really what we started. Yeah, we really, the very first video we ever did was really just kind of a practice thing. And But you can't take those out into water. You can't take those on a bicycle. You can't take those. You can walk around town with them, but you're really obvious. And you know, we don't want to make people uncomfortable. So uh, we want to be a little, less obvious as we're walking through some of these areas yeah. and exploring but at the same time be able to share those experiences with you well, so we'll see how this works let, out let me swap with you over here okay. star. Come here, star. Come here, star. we got star with us so i know y'all always ask where we're filming from this is katie lake rv resort in katie which is west of houston and uh this is the lake in the middle of the rv park you can see it behind me. And as we're filming this, they're doing their lawn maintenance. So yeah. I'm sorry if you hear that, but we're winging it. We're winging it. <laughs> and we thought, what better way? I mean, we just got this camera yesterday and you know, you gotta learn it. So we figured, why don't we just wing it? <laughs> we'll wing it on winging it. That's right. So yes, but to come back to our original topic, we absolutely plan to travel all over Texas and share everything we find with y'all. We wanna find all the beautiful spots and all the neat quirky places, but we also plan to travel all over the United States and Canada um, for sure. And yeah. then beyond that, who knows? Who knows? Uh, but this you, is may even, you may even see a cruise or two because <laughs> Stacy and I love cruising. Before we got into RVing, we cruised a lot. And uh, so, you know, who knows? In the future, you might even see a little bit on a cruise. We're, we're winging it. We're so winging it as Tom's phone that. rings. So I should have <laughs> silenced it. Sorry about that. But, you know, the thing is, again, we're in it for the long haul. So a lot of folks burn out early, you know, when they first hit the road. They're so excited to see and do and go as many places as they can. And we definitely are excited to do all that. 
but we don't want to burn out. No. This is our life now, so we want to take our time and really explore and get to know the places that we visit, and we're going to take you along. And, and some other parts, too, is some of the places will stay a little bit longer. We can save some money if we stay at least a week. Some and of we our, can get to know the places. Yeah, better. some of our state parks even give a discount uh, if we stay a week. So. You know, we're going to be doing some of that, and and we may even stay a month every once in a while in some places. So, you know, economics has to play into this too. We don't make the money we used to make. We don't have our uh, sticks and bricks oh. income. Oh, Ten there minutes. we are. Ten minutes. But keep on leaving us comments. Let us know. Ugh, I can't turn it off. As you can't see it, we're out here I can't in the sunlight. See it in the sun. <laughs> But thank you for your comments. Please continue to give us suggestions on places you love and things we should absolutely see as we travel inside the state of Texas and outside because we're making a list and we plan to travel and hit all of those places as we can. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued comments and the discussion that we have. Okay, and, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'd love to have you join us on this adventure. It's about to get a lot more fun. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Until next time, y'all. Thanks for winging it with us. Yeah. Safe travels. And happy camping. We'll see y'all Sunday. Bye. Bye.